Welcome to today's Swarf and Chips live here in the MTD studio and we are very happy because Mark and I are joined by NCMT today. We've been busy on your stand this morning. So we've got Dave and Lawrence who are the directors but also what's different about today we've got one of your customers which is Shane from BG Engineering. Thank you for your Hello. company today. Welcome. Right. Now my first question to you is how's today been? Well, it's been a really busy day for us and uh, uh, it's not just been a busy day for this t uh, actual show, uh, the best ever day from uh, a Mac exhibition that we've attended actually. Really? Really great day, yeah, a lot of customers mm. and a lot of uh, old supplier friends actually as well, which is also a crucial part of the show for us. Well, it's all about networking, That's isn't right. it? And seeing <laughs> yeah. people that maybe don't know your product to introduce your product to or speaking to your current customers and you know progressing with sales and everything like That's that. That's right, yeah. So, oh, go on. Talk, talking products, for, for, for those companies that may not know NCMT, what brands do you represent mm -hmm. in the UK? Well, we've got Akuma and Makino is our main brands that we I think we're known for, for for the last 54 years. We've also got Mekoff product and we're promoting Blue Photon, which is a new revolutionary <coughs> fixturing system. So those are featured on the, on the stand at the moment. What's been the highlight of the show for you? Uh, well, other than you two guys <laughs> coming on and interviewing us. Well, I think you've had a very well. I, just, I think you've had a very big order as well, haven't you? Yeah, we've taken over three million pounds worth of business wow. this week, which is um, obviously fantastic, and hopefully some more to come later in the week. So it's, the show's mm. going very well. Mm. What technology is unique on your stand? Because you have got com petition naturally everyone does but what makes you stand out from the crowd I think in the case of the Makino products that we're showing uh, I think it's the ultra fast machining center that we've got you know it's a five axis machining center we would say it's ballistic I mean it's an incredible <laughs> machine to see moving around and without doubt it's the fastest machine in the show mm. yeah um, in terms of Akuma technology we're showing the new latest five axis machine we've also got our Multus range where we're showcasing the gear skiving. Um, it, that's a very popular setup at the moment. A lot of people are looking at changing how they manufacture gears. And gear skiving is potentially a, a very quick way of making gears, but you have to have an incredibly accurate machine tool. Making a gear is one thing, making a gear that is accurate enough to be a production part is, is another thing. And you <coughs> aren't just at Mac regarding this, because you do seminars, don't you, throughout the yeah. year? We, we did a gear seminar um, about six months ago which was really well attended and actually we sold machines on the back of that. Um, we were measuring the gears that we were making at the show so again not just saying we can make a gear but proving that there it is, there's the quality, you can look at it yourself mm -hmm. and the machines are now sold and they're in production making gears. So, uh, uh, and also the, the thing with Makedo <coughs> is the EDM side of your business, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Um, we reintroduced the EDM side of Makino's product range uh, two years ago into the UK market and that's really been uh, particularly well accepted and received by the, the customers. And uh, we're showing two of their products there, a sinker and a wire cut machine. And again, uh, I think uh, the level of inquiries we've got from that will certainly be uh, successful for us. In, as a you also result. represent Mekoff? Yeah, Mekoff is uh, well represented by us. Um, not only are we just out there trying to sell the product, there's already a population of machines that are installed and we're supporting those machines. Um, so there's uh, obviously a service requirement and we're there, we're known for support. Mm and very much that's an important part of uh, yeah. the, the Mekoff offering actually. Yeah. Where do you sit in the market? Because you've got competitors, as I've said previously, but what makes you so unique? I, I get a different feeling when I'm on your stand from others, so what, what is that feeling? Okay, I think, yeah. Well, <laughs> <Mark Lawrence. laughs> I think the, the product we sell is high-end product. Makino and Akuma are renowned throughout the world as being very high-end Japanese machines. Um, the technologies on the machines are something we want to promote so not just technology for technology's sake but actually this is what it can do to improve productivity um, you can buy machines for capacity but we always try to give people more productivity by utilizing some of the really clever software or, or features on the machines to find new ways to make parts quicker more effectively so there's a lot of high-end technology 
Um, we want people to come and look at the demonstrations and understand why they're there. It's not just a part on a machine cutting, it's actually there to show some of the advantages. Who have you got there to help people understand that? Because when people come to Mac, you know, it's a big show, so wh why are they so comforted by you? you know, who, who's there to help? I think that one of our key strengths is the engineering uh, support that we have, the technicians that we have. You know, they're a, a high calibre uh, engineering workforce, so we're not just selling boxes, you know, and selling just the machine. You know, we're selling the engineering skills, how to get the best out of the machine, to make it the most productive uh, machine that they invest in. So they're investing also uh, in, we're investing in people, making sure that uh, they, they're getting the uh, high performance uh, out of the, the machine tool. Yeah. Talking about people, I, I love the way that when Paul done a walk around uh, the apprentices mm. that you've got. I mean, they're, yeah, really they're, they're, they're featured really strongly actually. Yeah. Um, we have a demonstration we're going through during yeah. the day with live presentations and we thought it was a good idea to give the apprentices a chance to do that and they actually jumped at it. They were really keen they're and they the stand in there and they're doing a fantastic job. Uh, you know, four or five times a day standing there speaking. They're on the machines as well, doing demonstrations and obviously talking customers through. So that's really nice. So yeah. we've got applications people on every machine there to help, and, and four of those, four or five of those are, are apprentices. And there's a great spirit amongst them as well because they're sort of competing, but in a good way. Yes. You know, they're not trying to beat each other or yeah, put sure. people <laughs> off. You know, it's uh, so it's good from an education point of view as well that it gives them the confidence to be able to. Um, give a message to the customers as well because at the end of the day that's their role mm. you know they're there to explain how to get the best out of the machines and uh, for that reason it's, it's a good use of, of their skills. There's definitely a warmth on the stand there, de there yeah. really really is. Yeah. So um, Shane, <laughs> Shane's sitting well, there uh, <laughs> over in the corner there is I'm a listening, reason. It's all you're, listening. Uh, you're sitting in the corner you're from BG Engineering and we're doing something a little bit different on today's Wolf because we can hear from the directors, <coughs> fantastic, but you know you're a customer and you're here for a reason, why is that? Uh, I've come down today just to see what the latest technologies are really and what, what's on offer and obviously MCMT have always been the high end of the, the forefront of that, that mm. uh, the technologies going forward and MCMT itself, I mean like they were talking about gear cutting, I went to that seminar uh, the other week on gear cutting and that is something we're looking to get into in the next couple of years. That's our thing, hence why, because we have got a, a Multis already, which has got the capabilities to put the gear cutting in place, which, so that's mm. brilliant for us. So just looking around, and obviously, engineers got quite a buzz about it at the moment as well. It feels like it, it feels everybody's like, an energy. yeah, mm. there's an energy around manufacturing, and, and mm. I think it's great. So if everybody comes down here and feels that, it, it just makes everybody a lot better. What type of sectors do you work in? We're currently in gas, we do gas oil, uh, mechanical seals, food and beverage, and um, we're just going for our aerospace approval this year as well. Right. So but you've been buying these machines for over 10 years, yes. haven't you? Yes. Talk us through your history and your story. First met NCMT, and that was through uh, GKN when I worked at GKN. We put a automotive production line in. Subsequently, I went to BG Engineering, uh, and because of how good the machines are, how amazing the, the guys are at NCMT, uh, they bought in, and the technology was turn cut for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we were doing a lot of valve work, and turn cut just suited valve work perfectly. Uh, so we've never looked back really. The, the turn cut mm -hmm. it revolutionised how we did our machining on them. Types Are they of quite complex parts? The valve. Yeah, they're a lot of them complex. But instead of buying, we were, we were purchasing, I don't know, three, four boring heads at two thousand pound a piece. You can get round that by just simple mm -hmm. turn cut program. And just use it like a lathe. It were it were really good, really good. So, so with the investment that you got, do you, do you actually offer capacity to the market now? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, One hundred percent. We've got a lathe. Uh, we've got horizontal machining, multitasking machining, uh, sliding head. We do that as well. So, uh, anything we can we can wear around anything at all. There is competition in the industry. Mm. Why choose NCMT and Akumas? NCMT. Uh, they, they do everything amazingly from start to finish. So if I can bring these, <laughs> sorry, I, I, I'm embarrassing <laughs> you. I, 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 carry on, mate. The, the thing is, the thing is, though, carry on. The yeah, thing is on. that I have actually got these guys' phone numbers in my phone, and I, can, I know I can ring them about anything. And not a lot of companies will do that. You, you, you're, you can only go to a level. These don't do that. It's all levels. Mm. You can, you, and 
absolutely fantastic. I and kind of also got it. some great application guys. We we know them well. Yeah, that that makes that makes a big difference, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. Without that, all the engineering, service, sales, everything. I've I've never had an issue with any in mm. eighteen years. Makes me sound old, actually. Yeah. Don't <laughs> you're not yeah. old yeah. enough for no. oh, oh, that's what I'm after. I say I'm open for that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much, gents, Pleasure. for joining yeah. us at MTD and coming on camera and talking, you know, letting us, you know, introducing us, uh, you know, uh, on the stand and uh, getting to know one another. It and has the hospitality been, as well. Yeah. Fantastic yeah. hospitality. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> so now we've got a cycle time challenge. Again, watch this and put your guesses in the comments box below. And there is still time to come and join us here at Mac 2018. Cycle time challenge. Great show, guys. Yeah, I'm with Andrew here on the stand. Uh, we're going to do a cycle time challenge. We'll give you a cycle time challenge. Put your, your comments and your guesses below on YouTube. Andrew, this is the part that's being made today as a demo on the DA300. Just yeah. tell us um, some of the operations that you're doing on it, what the material is, and then um, we can challenge our viewers to guess how long it takes to make. Okay, so, th so this is a contrived electrical box. So we're face milling, we're uh, doing some end mill roughing, five axis, five axis flank milling finishing, and some uh, five axis scanning on the inside. We're also some, using the GI drilling function, which is new from Makino, to cut down the cycle time for the whole, for the whole drilling. Okay, so there we have it. And, and, and just the material? Uh, aluminium. It is aluminium. So how long does this part take to make? Leave your comments and your guesses below.